Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Necrochet Tejido. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful design. I just made it for this beautiful fall weather that we are about to begin. But you can make it for a spring and summertime by changing the color. It will be perfect. I absolutely love it and I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of materials you're going to need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see that video in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you'll find the English version in there. Also, you can send me a message and I can send you the link. And at the end of each tutorial, I have a playlist with all my English videos. For this design, I'm going to use the Loops Andre Impeccable Medium 4, 100% acrylic. The color is gold and pumpkin, perfect for autumn. And the crochet hook, 6.5 millimeter. You're going to need tapestry needle and scissors. This is the beautiful stitch that we're going to do. It's very easy, fast to do. And it looks amazing. Um, I did a chain long enough from shoulder to shoulder, outside my shoulders, and in total was 63 chain. So those 63 chain are multiple of 5 plus 13, that's for the stitch, plus 3 more to turn my work around. That was 66 chain that I did. So in here, each of these motif with a chain space are multiple of 5, plus you have 7 here at the beginning and six for the end. So I did uh, calculated that 50 plus 13 was 63 and that was perfect um, for the length of the chain that I needed for my piece. So you have to make sure that uh, when you do the you chain in that chain in that length you have multiple 5 plus 13 for that length because you have to do three more that will count as the first double crochet and that's why I did 63 for mine plus 3 to turn my work around so 66 in total so you have to make sure that you have multiple of 5 plus 13 that's just for the stitch and then plus 3 more to turn your work around so I decided to go with the uh, pumpkin to start in the um, piece so you can decide which color you like best for the beginning and start doing your chain. So remember you have to measure from the outside of your shoulder to shoulder that way you get the right size for yourself. I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to do my 63 chains and when I have my 63 chain, I will do three more to turn my work around for a total of 66 chain. So when I have my 66 chain, I'll meet you here. Once you have the length of chain that you need, for mine was 66, you're going to do a yarn over and you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and a number 5, you're going to do a double crochet. You're going to do a yarn over and you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and a number 5, you're going to do 2 double crochet. You're going to chain one and you're going to do two double crochet. And here you're going to see that this pull a little bit, but as you work, you see, and here it will go straight at the border. That's where I start. 
Now you're gonna do a yarn over, and you see if you look when you do your five double crochet in the same space, the next chain space it will be very small, so you have to make sure that you count that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and number five again. You're gonna do two double crochet. Chain one, two double crochet. And like that is how you're gonna continue working. Counting five, you know, four, and then number five, you're gonna do this a stitch until the end that you will have six chain left. Now we're gonna count one, two, three, four, and a number five, you're gonna do a double crochet. And the last one, that will be the six. So you're gonna finish with two double crochet exactly the same way as you start. I tried to just leave one strand in the lower part. Like this, you finish your first row. So the color will change every three row, but for the beginning, you're only gonna do two with the color that you start with, only two rows. And then after that is three rows, repetition. So you're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. You're gonna turn your work around, and you're gonna do a double crochet, and the double crochet. Now yarn over inside the chain space, you're gonna do two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet. And like that, you're gonna continue all the, way until, all the way until the end that you'll finish with the two double crochet and then we'll change color. And remember, we are not doing any chain space in between these stitches. So you do your two double crochet chain one and two double crochet and then you do the same repetition till you finish with the two double crochet I finished that row. I'm gonna turn my work. And I'm gonna grab the next color. I'm gonna do slip knot. And I'm gonna 
gonna come here. I wanna pass that loop. And I'm gonna chain three. One, two, and three. Jump over and I'm gonna do a double crochet on top of the next double crochet and I'm gonna secure those two ends. Now we're gonna hug these two stitches with a long double crochet. So you're gonna do a yarn over, you're gonna pass through here, pull your yarn through, nice and loose, you see? Right, this will be almost around half of this size. And then when you do the other half and you finish, it will be the same height. Now you go to the space, the chain one space, and you're gonna do your two double crochet. Chain one and two double crochet, and that's exactly what I did. And this one, and here. Now again, yarn over. You're gonna hug those two with a long double crochet. You pass it through here, and you're gonna do your double crochet. And. I'm gonna do my two double crochet. Chain one, two double crochet. And now that's how you're gonna continue all the way until the end. And I want to mention that make sure that at the end, after you do this, you do your long double crochet in here. And then your two double crochet. Because happened to me that in the first row, yes, I did this one. But when I it was time to do this one, I did the stitch and I forgot to do the long one so I did my two double crochet and that one and this one <laughs> and this and I had to undo all that just to fix that so I'm just mentioning that way you pay attention to that's easy to do the last stitch and do the, the two double crochet without doing the long one so like this is how you're gonna continue all the way until the end Once you finish that row, it will look like this. Now we're gonna do row one and two. Again, with this color. So you're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. You're gonna turn your work around. You're gonna do a double crochet in top of this double crochet. Yarn over and inside the chain one space. You're gonna do Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, and you're gonna yarn over, go to the next chain one space, and again you will do that repetition all the way until the end. You're gonna turn your work around and do this row one more time, and then we'll change color. So you'll work until the end. You make sure that you do a double crochet on top of this double crochet and one on top of the chain that you start with.
I finished the row and I finish in here and I'm gonna start in this side. I'm not gonna start in the same space where I finish. I'm not gonna turn my work around because if I turn my work around, these stitches will be in the wrong side in here. Okay? So in order for them to be exactly the same, you have to start in the right side of your piece from the right to the left. Um, and that way they will be perfect. So you're gonna start with a slip knot again. And you see here's the tail of this one where I did this row. And I'm gonna come here. And I'm gonna pass that loop. And I'm gonna chain three. One, two, and three. Yarn over, tap of this double crochet. I'm gonna do a double crochet. Yarn over, we're gonna go to do here, the long. We're gonna go to do. <laughs> we are going to do. <laughs> sorry, sometimes my English is a little rough. Um, we're gonna do the long double crochet to hook those two row, and you're gonna come here and do that double crochet. Remember, English is my second language. If you don't know that, already. <laughs> and then here you're gonna do two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And that's in space. Yarn over the long double crochet to hold those two rows into the double crochet, and you're gonna do it again two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, and like that, you're gonna continue all the way until the end. And remember. Always do your long double crochet after you do this. Your long one in here to hook these two. And then you finish with the two double crochet, turn your work around and do this two row repetition. Now you're gonna do the repetition of these three row because now it's three row of each color. So for mine, I did only these repetitions. So I finished with this color and then I start with the pumpkin and I did a full row with a long double crochets uh, and then I turned my work around I did two double crochet three of these a stitch and on top of that long double crochet I did a double crochet I chain three turn my work around and I did those three again with a two double crochet cut the yarn and I left the long tail there for sewing and then since I was working from right to left in this row I came here from right to left and I did a chain of three on top of this long double crochet and then I did the three stitches, the two double crochet, two double crochet and the three stitches and then I finished with the double crochet. Cut the yarn and I lost, I lost that tail. No, I still have that tail there for sewing the other shoulder. So this is my front piece. For the back piece, I'm going to do two of these rows this one and the second one and then the third one i only going to do these two little pieces on the top so go ahead and work these other rows you're going and you're working now in this one so you're going to do the other two change color do three and then you're going to work on this one and then i'll meet you here to show you how you're going to finish the top
Well, I finished that row, then you're going to chain three. You're going to turn your work around. And you're going to do a double crochet. stitch two double crochet one and two chain one two double crochet in the same space two go to the next one do exactly the same one and two one and one and two and the same in the next one so if you're doing the front piece, like I explained before, I'm explaining again, you will finish here and you will do a yarn over and on top of that elongated double crochet, you're going to do a double crochet, you're going to chain three, you're going to turn your work around and you're going to work on those stitches and then you will cut your yarn and you lose your tail. If you want to lose it, you can leave it for sewing. And then since we start this one from the right to the left, when you're going to work on this side, you have to come here from the right to the left. And then you'll work two rows in here, you'll cut your yarn, and then you work in your back piece. That is this one that I'm working for myself. And for this one, I will finish this row until the end. And I only do um, those three stitches I will do. Uh, and one row in one side and the other one. Only this. For the back. So, finish your pieces and do that and I'll meet you here. I just noticed that I skipped my last elongated double crochet, but I'm lucky that I realized that before I finish this row until the end and I start the little piece because now I will undo this few stitches and I will fix that you see even <laughs> I sometimes make mistakes well no it's, it's not a mistake it's a, a mishap mishap I don't know if that's uh, it's pronounced like that, mishap. So, so. That's what I did in the, in the other one, but the other one I, I was working in this row when I realized that all of them had the same mistake except the first one. So I undid all, everything until here. <laughs> But look how nice that look. I absolutely love it. So I already sewed together this shoulder. Look how nice that look. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And I start from the uh, inside out. That way it's nice and even here in the border. It look really, really nice. So now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do this.
Now we're going to work on the sleeves. And I did double crochet with an elongated stitch for the sleeve and we're getting the stripe as well because if I do this you just the stitch is facing down and it don't look as nice as facing up like this so I decided to go but you can go either way it's up to you so what I did I close the circumference as I start my round and I decrease to a stitch one at the beginning and one at the end. In total I did 58 but decreasing two and two because you still have to create those 58 and put them together. Uh, I will show you. And then I did two more round of double crochet but I don't did any decrease. I did another decrease when I changed color to this one. I did a decrease at the beginning and one at the end and at the same time in that round I did the elongated double crochet. And then I did two more rounds with this color and then I continue changing as I went, doing this repetition but without that decrease. I only did decrease at the beginning of the first and the fourth round. That's it. After that I continue working the color work and then when I have the desired length I did one round of single crochet doing an elongated single crochet and then I did in the second one I did decrease and the third one I did decrease and the next um, round I just work single crochet. Uh, so you have to decide if you want a short sleeve, a long sleeve or a three quarter sleeve like this one. Now we're going to start with the slip knot and I wanted to mention that I changed to a 5 millimeter crochet hook and instead of the 6.5 because I started doing the sleeve with this one and it was a huge with a set amount of stitches but it was like this too big and then I decided to go with a 5 millimeter to make the stitches smaller so you want to start with a slip knot and I may gonna need another one of these because this one I think I have a little bit more of this one because I'm using this color a little bit more so I may need another one might so I'm gonna come here and through that border stitch and this one I'm gonna pass my hook I'm gonna pass it through and this will be the first decrease, this stitch. So you're going to chain one and you're going to pass again and do a single crochet and only chain one. And that stitch and in the next round we don't want to work on that stitch. So now you're going to do a double crochet and then another double crochet in here. And you're going to work your double crochet and make sure that you count the amount of stitches that you have in the first one, that way you have the same in the other one. So like that, I'm going to continue all the way around. And I'm going to finish here with the last two stitches that I'm going to do, I'm going to do two together. So if you count the the bodies <laughs> of the post of the double crochet you'll have uh, for example for mine will be 58 but in the top you'll have for 56 stitches to work in the next round because we did a decrease at the beginning and a decrease at the end
I'm gonna work on the decrease. This is 57. I'm gonna this, do this double crochet that I'm not gonna finish. Yarn over and I'm gonna do 58. I have three loops. I'm gonna slip through this three loop. And you're gonna come here, you have the single crochet with the chain space. You're gonna go on top of the double crochet. And you're gonna do your slip stitch. And like that you decrease two stitches. That one at the beginning and this one at the end. Now you're gonna chain one. And in that double crochet inside, you're gonna do a single crochet and you're gonna chain three because we don't wanna do decrease. Jump over and then you're going to do a double crochet through each double crochet and on top through. And that way, your stitch will be nice and straight. If you look at here, I'm not going through these two strands. If I work there, I'm working in between the stitches. I'm working inside the stitch and you will have a nice and straight work. You don't gonna be your seam don't gonna be you know slanted because you're working straight. And if you look at my work here, you see each double crochet is inside of each double crochet except the long a stitch that is in between. So like this you're going to continue working a double crochet through each double crochet until you get to the end and you're going to finish. You're going to do a double crochet, one double crochet inside this one. You're going to slip stitch on top of the third chain and here or the second chain because it's a single crochet in two chain but I said the third chain in the top you're gonna chain one and do a single crochet chain two and then a double crochet through each double crochet you'll cut the yarn and then we're gonna start working with the next color and I will meet you here to show you how you're gonna decrease and how you're gonna work those long um, double crochet uh, with the other color Now we're gonna work with this color. You're gonna start with the slip knot. And we're gonna do the decrease exactly the same as we did in the first round. I'm gonna pass through this chain space where you did a slip stitch. You're gonna chain one in the same space, a single crochet, and chain one. Now in the next double crochet, you're going to do a double crochet and that will be the decrease for the next round. So in this side, I did a two more double crochet, right inside the double crochet, remember, one and two. Now we're going to do the long double crochet, yarn over and it's in between these stitches here. Do you double crochet and that one counts as this double crochet in here? And then you go to the next one, and inside the next one, you're gonna do the double crochet, and that's one, two, three, and four, and again, yarn over the long double crochet. And again, that one counts as this one. And you go to the next one. And you do your four double crochet. And like that, you're gonna continue all the way around. And at the end, I will show you the decrease. 
and that will be the last one until you have to do the round of single crochet the decrease in the last two stitches So the decrease is done with the elongated double crochet and the last stitch because you see you have these two and this one is that stitch and then you go to the last double crochet you do you double crochet and you slip through those three loops and you go on top of the double crochet you know the chain one the space in here so the double crochet and slip stitch and like that you did two decrease and you see I have the same amount of stitches in here I have in the other one here with a decrease. So now you're going to chain one in the same space of the double crochet. You're going to do a single crochet and chain two. Now you're going to do a double crochet on top of each double crochet. And this one is the elongated double crochet right through that one. You're going to do a double crochet as well. And you're gonna do this round and you're gonna do another round with this color, a double crochet on top of each double crochet. And then I will meet you here to change uh, to the pumpkin color to show you one more time how you're gonna do the elongated double crochet. And after that, you will give the length that you want for your sleeve. I did one, two, three, four, five, six color uh, repetition you know and in number seven I did the same as the beginning with the pumpkin but with single crochet so the length is up to you I start and ended with the same color the same for the body so you're gonna need a little bit more of the color that you choose for my for me mine is the pumpkin so I will need more of the pumpkin than the gold with one of the gold and probably one and a bit of the pumpkin because it's not enough with one. So I'm gonna continue working here. And I will meet you when it's time to change color. So exactly the same as I did before. Remember here we did a decrease. So from these four we, uh, and here you have only three. One, two, three. So one, two, three. And then I did the long 
uh, double crochet and then one, two, three, four in the long double crochet, exactly the same. You see, in the same space as this one to the side in between the stitches. I didn't work any stitch in this one because this one in the top and then one, two, three, four and then again the long double crochet and so on. You're going to continue with exactly the same uh, repetition that you did with these three uh, round except the decrease. You are not decreasing anymore so you will work a straight and I'm going to put this in here that way you see the amount of repetitions that I did if you want to do exactly as mine and then you'll have to work until this round and then I will help you to do in the cuff of your sleeve. So I'm going to work on the other one I don't want to record anymore just when it's time for me to show you because you can, can repeat exactly what you did in this one and the rest of the stripes. So I will meet you here when it's time to finish the sleeve. And before I go, I just wanted to mention that I'll be using another ball of this pumpkin color because I don't have enough uh, to continue with the sleeves. Probably this will be enough, maybe, to finish this round and the next one. And with the goal, I have plenty. I don't have to use another one, pretty much. With one is enough. So I just wanted to mention that, that way you know that you're going to need more than one of this color. Now we're going to start doing the single crochet. And this is the amount that I have of the gold. So, perfect. <laughs> if I've done uh, this, the other sleeve a little bit longer, you know. Well, that's not enough. But I'm in my second one of these because this one is the main color. So I'm gonna do slip knot. And I'm gonna go here, the same place where you did that slip stitch on top of that chain space. You're gonna pass the loop. You're gonna chain one and you're gonna do a single crochet in the same space. And now you're gonna do your next single crochet and that double crochet. And the next one. Now you're going to do a long single crochet. I pull it too tight. This poly. Now you're going to do your fourth single crochet. One, two, three, and four. And now you're going to do your long single crochet. <laughs> I did it enough. Again. It's exactly the same as this row, except you're doing single crochet and instead of double crochet. Two. And four and your long single crochet. And like that you're gonna continue in this round and you're gonna finish here with a slip stitch and in the next round we're gonna start doing decrease. Now you're going to chain one in the same space, you're going to do your first single crochet. You're going to do the next single crochet and the next two together. You do one and two together. Now one and two separate single crochet and the next two together. And that's how you're going to continue in this round. 
two separate single crochet and two together, two, two separate and two together. I finished that round, now we're gonna do another a round of decrease, exactly the same, you're gonna do two separate single crochet and two together, two separate and two together. And did you notice my short nails? I had my press on and they last two weeks, one day, um, the entire set, uh, except two. <laughs> this one and this one, they got a little bit loose and then I put some more glue and I press them down and they stay on and yesterday this one got loose and then I decided to remove them, give a break to my nails and then put it on again in a, a new set. I'm mentioning that because I mentioned before when I put my first uh, press on nail set that I want to keep track uh, how long they last, so two weeks pretty much. So now I'm going to start doing this round of decrease and two round without decrease.
So I'm doing a border all the way around and it's a twisted uh, single crochet. It looks really nice. They give it that look like a rope. So what I do is I come to the chain space, like to do a single crochet. I pull it up a little bit longer. I twist it and I pass it through and go to the next chain space again and do the twist stitch. When I get to this point and here I skip this one because if I do one like that the hole will be too big. I go to the other side and I do this and then again. Like this I'm gonna work all the way around and I absolutely love the way I look. I try it on and I love the sleeve. I'm making definitely making a sweater with this stitch. Look really, really nice. This is the back, and I absolutely love this design, it's amazing. I turn around to show you the front. This is the front and I absolutely love this design. Perfect for the fall weather. Love the color combination, the sleeves, three quarter sleeves are perfect. I love this so much that I'm gonna make a sweater. I absolutely love this stitch. And I hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this beautiful design and you want to send me some pictures you can do it through my facebook page ruby necrochet tejido or my instagram ruby necrochet tejido please share my videos with friends and family and in groups and don't forget to leave a message a comment and a way you help me grow here in youtube i wish you have a beautiful day bye